Hello guys, um, after uh, watching uh, this old Tony make a fly cutter, I was inspired to make my own. I, uh, I was even tempted to use the, the same hex steel as he did. Uh, it's a little bit unconventional, but um, it certainly would have be, uh, made it easier to clamp it in the vise. Uh, for doing the uh, the milling operation on this one, but I decided to go with a round stock of uh, unknown origin. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get that on uh, on camera, but um, here it is. I did the same mistake as uh, this old Tony did, uh, uh, drilling too deep. So after I slotted it for the tool. Um, it broke through but uh, doesn't really matter but one thing I need to do is uh, turn down this the shank of the arbor and um, I actually did the same thing as uh, as he did uh, this is an old uh, uh, taper uh, B16 I believe for a cheap uh, truck I bought for uh, for the mill and uh, the truck was junk so I was left with the arbor. I tested the run out and it was uh, one hundredth of a millimeter uh, before I started. I already turned it down to a straight cylinder and I thought I'd show you I need to shorten it a little bit to, ma to make it fit and uh, I learned something new from this old Tony by uh, where he uh, turned down the taper um, in the mill instead of uh, chucking it up in the uh, the lade and the argument for that was that he wanted to turn it straight uh, with reference to the, the B30 taper and the, the rotation of the mill so this is quite hard material and we'll get some sparks uh, hopefully and uh, I'll turn it down so we'll see how it goes.
That chip's chip is uh, pretty blue. That nice and hot. I'm uh, running at uh, 1400 RPM and I'm doing about 0 0.6 to 0 0.7 uh, millimeter for each uh, depth of cut. Um, I had a really strange low frequency chatter, the whole machine was rumbling, so I had to reduce the speed a little bit and uh, reduce the depth of cut and it seemed to work okay. It was just the last few uh, tenths of a millimeter I needed to take off. So I think I'm... Uh, at the right uh, length now. Yeah. That should work. Um, need to uh, chamfer it a little bit, I think. Maybe we'll just do it with a file. And I made it the uh, press fit, uh, or not press fit. I'm gonna heat up the uh, the fly cutter and uh, then press it on. We'll see. So I got the um, fly cutter ready. Um, I heated the uh, the fly part uh, with the torch and uh, put the, the taper in the freezer. But uh, my hole was a little bit tight, so I I wasn't able to to get it all the way in like I wanted to. So. Um, but it's uh, it's sitting in there really hard. So, and I did the same thing as uh, just made a little positive rake and a and slight nose radius on the cutter. Uh, I'm not. I don't have much experience with uh, hand grinding the tools, so uh, hopefully it will work. It's sharp anyway. So let's uh, try it out. I'm going uh, a little bit conservative here in the beginning just to try it out. I don't know about the tool. So I'm running uh, 180 RPMs and just uh, just a few hundreds depth of cut. Uh, let's uh, see how it works.
I think I could be going faster. Surface finish is much to brag about. Uh, it's probably my uh, the way I gr ground the tool. I need to uh, freshen up on that a little bit, but I'm going to try it a little bit faster. Let's see how it goes. <coughs> Give you a better view. Let's try uh, 250. It's cutting a little bit on the on the backstroke as well. I have a feeling that tram the table isn't uh, completely straight, but that actually improves the surface finish. So uh, maybe uh, 500. I haven't done the calculations or anything. It just you know just doing it by the my gut feeling. Let's uh, try it and see. Um, Give it some WD. Okay, let's try that again. Well, that helped the surface for me. That's more like it. Anyway, I need to experiment a little bit. Just do a quick uh, test run on aluminum. nice even pattern but it's kind of dull and uh, after I
give it a little spray of DW40, it's uh, it improved quite a bit. So, uh, that's almost like a mirror. Anyway, that's the uh, Tony inspired flight cutter. Thanks, Tony, for the ID and uh, giving me the guts to uh, jump on the project. It's quite a big fly cutter. Right now I have uh, about a five centimeter or two inch radius, so total four inch surface with this. Uh, and I'm not using all of it, so it's a nice um, nice extra tool for the for the collection. So guys, thanks for uh, watching.